What's up YouTube? This is the follow-up video to the initial one I did on the Strybog SP9A3. This is the roller delayed version, yada yada yada. I've already done the video on that. Um, I know it was supposed to come out like a while back, but 2020 being what it is, had a shit ton of Roblox and more importantly, uh, ammunition prices right now are just fucking outrageous. So anyway, I'm not as able to make as many range trips as I'd like to do, but Right now, I've got about 1,100 rounds through it, which is not a whole hell of a lot. Now, I did not have any problems with function. This thing ate, ate up everything without an issue. That said, I'm gonna go ahead and skip to the uh, to the end part. Can I recommend this gun for like home defense or anything like that? And the answer is still no. The reason being is now that this thing has been out for a couple of months, um, I feel like I may be one of the lucky ones, but. Uh, this ha definitely has a problem with uh, eating uh, hollow points, which I don't, I haven't run any hollow points through it. I've been running uh, Spear um, the, or CCI, same shit, whatever. Um, and I've also been running some Winchester White Box through it. But this thing has no problem eating all that up. Um, however, uh, when it comes to hollow points, the feedback that I've been seeing online from a lot of people who have been uh, trying to give it hollow points is that uh, it has some problems with um, failure to feed. So I feel like uh, with this gun, uh, the gun that the gun itself isn't so much the problem. It's again the fucking mags. So this is the Gen 2 mag, and even though they've corrected one issue on it, I really feel like that this was a second chance for them to get it right, and they fucked it up yet again. The problem is with this follower. This what they should have done anyway, and, and it, it's relatively easy fix for any y'all watching out there who knows how to machine shit. If you could uh, fix this issue, you'd make a ton of money. But this is not an anti-tilt follower. See, right out, the, right out the front there, if it's an anti-tilt, it shouldn't do that. Now, what is an anti-tilt follower for you, those of y'all who don't know? Well, when you pull the follower out, if it's anti-tilt, it's gonna have what basically looks like legs in the front and the rear. Um, and it basically just ex it extends from the front all the way down and the rear all the way down and it keeps it straight that way whenever it's uh, guiding the or whenever it's feeding ammunition and it runs all the way up it keeps the position of that uh, of that first bullet it keeps it nice and uh, inclined so just helps the feed more reliably also uh, if you look on the rear here I don't know if you can see it uh, that right there is what holds your uh, is the last round bolt hold open and the way that they designed it it basically it's just one piece of plastic and it loops around and goes straight back up which I really feel like they could have done a better job with that because if you would have just take a solid piece and bonded it to the follower it would have been a much more stronger and stable design but because it's got a little elbow at the bottom that's prone to breaking and I've actually seen quite a few posts of people who are having issues with that where that'll break there's really not much to it it's just made of polymer and so um, that little weak point right there is apparently snapping off. Now, all mine still have all theirs, but I almost feel like I'm sitting on a time bomb with that. What would make this magazine great is if they redesigned the goddamn follower, and preferably if they made it of like aluminum or something like that, that'd be awesome. Um, but yeah, it needs to be anti-tilt, and it needs to have a better design on the uh, last round bolt hold up, and just get a straight piece of, of metal or whatever and bond it to the damn follower instead of making it have that elbow like that. So anyway, that's my bitch about the mags. I really wish Magpul or some sort of other aftermarket uh, company would take a stab at it because I guarantee you they could do a better fucking job than this. I mean, am I grateful that they redesigned these feed lips? Sure, I guess. Um, I mean, they really shouldn't have that problem anyways because these came out, I believe, after CZ. And if you remember the CZ Scorpion Gen 1 mags had the same fucking issue. And they went ahead and did the same damn thing they did. Anytime you have a stick mag like this that has a lot of pressure that builds up on these feed lips, you gotta have uh, you gotta have steel reinforcement. Um, regular polymer is not gonna do it. We've seen that twice now with two different uh, platforms. So as you can see, this is an SBR. Um, took a while for the ATF to get off their fat asses and uh, and to approve it, but it actually wasn't too bad. It took like uh, I don't know, 18 days. Something like that. But anyway, I'm, as you can tell, I'm not a fan of the ATF. I hate having to pay the king's tax, but 
whatever. Uh, this right here is a B&T stock, uh, short for Brugger and Tommen. Um, I think they're like Swedish or some shit. You see these a lot on the uh, MP5s. I don't know, I just love the look of this thing. It's a really cool stock. Folds out to the right. And this is actually a front uh, K grip by uh, Chris. And uh, those are pretty fucking cool, I like that. Uh, the brake on there is my favorite brake. This is the VG6 Gamma, only it's for nine millimeter. I use this brake on most of my guns. The only other one that I like to use would be the uh, Surefire three prong. If I am gonna put a muzzle device on any of my weapons, it's gonna be this or the three prong. Um, I've really kind of got my, uh, my likes narrowed down to that. So how do I have this thing, uh, the sling attached? Because I did have some questions about that. This right here, um, this is a UTG, uh, which by the way, I'm not a fucking fan of UTG with the exception of, I'm actually pretty impressed by this, but this is a QD socket and it basically just uh, bolts right onto the top rail here and it's offset. Actually does a really solid job too. I'm rather impressed with it. Now, is it a rip off of the Haley Strategic uh, QD mount? Yes, it is. But I will say this, uh, even though UTG manufactures shit and you see a lot of their stuff on Amazon, um, I got a hand to I mean, when it comes to stupid little stuff like this, I actually don't mind uh, going cheap on. And they actually also, yeah, this is also uh, the UTG front QD socket. I saw it, I was like, you know what? It's a damn cheap, I might as well try it out, see what it's worth, and it's actually done really good. So, very happy with that. Um, outside of that though, still a really fun gun to shoot. I really enjoy it, nice and soft shooting. Reliability for me thus far has been fantastic but I don't know how long that's gonna last and I, I can't say that there's any level of consistency in that uh, because I have definitely seen a lot of, uh, a lot of feedback on the, on the roller lock design and people are not quite that happy with it, but mine's done great. Um, I would say that most of it though is probably gonna be stemming from the second gen mags still being, uh, well, total shit, so whatever. Anyway, um, we can only pray that either somebody makes a new, designs a new follower for this to, to fix these, or that maybe Magpul gets into the into the Strybog game and produces something better. Anyway, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Y'all take it easy.